Christiana Anjok, who are program assistant at the Center for Citizens with Disabilities, says persons with disabilities often face significant barriers when seeking justice, leading to an inherently unequal system. Christiana Anjoku, the program assistant at the center, made these remarks at a press conference on promoting disability rights and access to justice for persons living with disabilities. The conference aimed to raise awareness about the rights and needs of persons with disabilities, educate on the barriers they face, and provide practical guidance to justice providers on how to better support them in accessing justice. PWDs often encounter communication barriers when interacting with justice service providers, such as police officers, lawyers, and judges. Limited provision of sign language interpreters, braille, when interacting with justice service providers, such as police officers, lawyers, and judges. Also, technology impedes effective communication and understanding, especially for individuals with hearing, speech, or visual impairments. Many PWDs face challenges in understanding their legal rights navigating complex legal processes and accessing relevant information and resources. This lack of legal awareness and education contributes to their vulnerability to exploitation, discrimination, and injustice within the justice system. Persons with disabilities frequently experience stigma, prejudice, and discrimination within the justice system perpetuated by negative attitudes and stereotypes held by justice service providers, like the law enforcement personnel and legal professionals. This systemic discrimination can undermine persons with disabilities confidence in seeking justice and result in unequal treatment or denial of their rights. Other speakers voiced their complaints about the mistreatment PWDs had endured. We don't want to have a lot of people with us. Because we have a lot of challenges. That's why you're here. Uh, so, uh, people, uh, they went to the police. That's why something happened about two weeks ago with the dwarf and the tenant. They had no tenant living in the same house. They went to the police station. Because of that dwarf, they didn't have money. They have to turn the case. So against him, he is the complainant. You yes, have to turn it to the suspect. So what are we going to do to that? Secondly, sir, we are mentioning and this civil defense field interest. How can we be able to reach them? Me, I'm a politician, mm. and I need somebody who will be guiding me. Mm. Now, I want to advocate that C C D should also have this in mind. We should do massive. And public and that we have to go into the main communities that most of the people that we have were on the side. By doing this, I have this scenario. My son is visually impaired. I live somewhere in the get to bed. Now, somebody was calling me, he has partial sight. Somebody was trying to send me a message. But because he didn't know the person, he did not familiar with the person. The document that comes to the court comes through the lawyers. However, they did say that if there is an issue whereby maybe the blind or the visually impaired needs a particular document, they should let them know before time or reach out to the PR's office at the Lagos State High Court. And they were very specific that it's work in progress. We talked about accessibility, and they were very specific that they had old courthouses that were that not particularly going to be accessible to persons with disabilities. Mostly people that are around here, we have been sensitized. We have been aware of what is happening for persons with disabilities. It is not left for us to go out there and apply. Then they get an application. Like I said before, 
when they called me for a child that was being vandalized. I have to go there and sensitize them. They may not be aware of what is going on. They may not understand how to treat persons with disabilities. And that person is a physical um, um, challenge person. I have to let them know. The students, I gather them and let them understand why they should not. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.